Ty Gibbs and Dexter Knight Jr. make their way to the Jericho Performance Restart Box. And we are underway. The Baker Distributing 200 presented by Honeywell is green. Gibbs gonna lead lap number one. Behind him the battle is for third. Well, make that fourth. So McCarty already back to position number six as Ronald Hill moves to fifth. Here comes Ryan Repco trying to take position number six away from McCarty. He'll likely wrestle it away rather easily as they work their way out of turn number four. Well, there you see Lee Pulliam. And Pulliam off turn four. And there is Ty Gibbs. That's the distance from Pulliam in 27th place back to the leader, Ty Gibbs. Oh, boy. If Ty Gibbs can get to Lee Pulliam, this might be a game changer before this one's over with, especially if more cars go a lap down. Man, there you see the game. Could happen at any point. And there it is. Caution is out. Yeah. After the one and only competition yellow, after 40 consecutive green flag laps, Ty Gibbs leads him back off the turn number one. You see everybody land rush in that first set of turns. Up top, Dexter Knight Jr. making it happen underneath the Ronald Hill in the 74. Here, trying to make his way forward. And look at Justin Johnson. Down on the rumble strips in turn number one, underneath the Ty Gibbs. Closing in on halfway, Justin Johnson looking to take the lead after starting back in position number 12. Will work his way out of turn number four, halfway home in the Baker Distributing 200, presented by Honeywell. New leader, Justin Johnson. New runner-up, Ronald Hill. And Ty Gibbs may be learning a lesson about Myrtle Beach Speedway here sooner rather than later. Pulliam able to clear, following Josh Berry up through the field. A pair of veterans, both with success here on the Grand Strand. Something tells me they're going to be visiting Justin Johnson and Ronald Hill before this thing is over with. Meanwhile, for the lead in turn number one, Ronald Hill to the point, works his way around Justin Johnson, and Ronald the Thrill has decided to push the button, at least for now. New leader, Myrtle Beach Speedway, with 36 laps to go this time. Ronald Hill in command here on the strand. Three wire problems, turn three. Jacob Hefner and Charlie Watson. The Randy Marion pace truck is into the pit lane. Ronald Hill spins the tires. It's three wide briefly on the way to turn number one. Ty Gibbs able to take advantage as up the hill goes Matt Cox. Hill able to reclaim the spot in turn number three. Single file now for the top two as they make their way out of the fourth turn. Hill continuing to set the pace. Meanwhile behind him, here comes Sam Yarbrough. Here comes Barry, Pulliam, and others as Barry got a couple of spots in that restart. Look at him rocking around Pulliam and company trying to slice his way to the front. Ooh, big bobble from Ty Gibbs there in turn four. Could the tires be going away on that Toyota? Could he have burned them up earlier? Or was it just simply a big slide with a mistake in turn three? We'll wait 32 laps to find out, but don't look now. Who else has crept into the picture once again? The five, Lee Pulliam on the outside, trying to find a way around Bradley McCaskill. That puts Lee now up into the top six. Battle for second again. Here's Pulliam underneath the Johnson. Action all around the half mile here at Myrtle Beach Speedway. Pulliam now gets around Justin Johnson, maybe not completely, as Johnson continuing to put up a fight on the outside. Vegas. But Ronald Hill would have taken those odds because he now is trying to pull away from Lee Pulliam. And in fact, last time around, they matched one another. 21-9 to 21-9. 28 down to the thousandth. They ran identical lap times last time around. Could this be the ultimate David versus Goliath story? And right now, Ronald Hill is in the biggest position of his career, leading at Myrtle Beach in the Cars Response Energy Tour with former multi-time, or actually defending, NASCAR national champion breathing down his neck, both hanging it out off turn four with 18 laps to go. 
mere inches at start finish this time. That time again, big slide for Hill in turn one. Pulliam right there underneath the back bumper. Could this be where he makes his move? Here comes Pulliam in turn three. Underneath of Ronald Hill, a dead heat at start finish. Hill continues to hold the lead with now 10 laps to go. Contact in turn one. Pulliam sends Hill up the hill and new leader with nine and a half circuits remaining. Tell me if you've heard this one before. Lee Pulliam to the lead here in Myrtle Beach. Ronald Hill, the race of his career, is gonna come up one spot short as Lee Pulliam will lead him off of turn number four for the first time in his career. Lee Pulliam will go to Edelbrock Victory Lane here at Myrtle Beach Speedway and the Baker Distributing 200 presented by Honeywell. Second to Ronald the Thrill Hill. Third to Justin Johnson, Josh Berry, Bobby McCarty,